to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Danielle, and today we're in downtown Cincinnati at the 800 Broadway Building, historically known as the Time Star Building. We're speaking with Judge John Williams. Thanks so much for talking with us today. It's my pleasure. What can you tell us about the building that we're in? Well, it's a very historic building. It was built in the early 30s. Um, it's Art Deco in its design. Um, Cincinnati is a, in, uh, has an enormous supply or history with Art Deco design and from the early 30s. We're nationally known uh, for that type of design. And this is one of the remaining buildings that uh, we are housed in. Um, it was a famous old paper. The Times Star was a, a great paper in Cincinnati, one of many. And uh, it now houses the juvenile court, the uh, domestic relations court, probation for the adult system, and the juvenile system as well. Uh, so there's a lot still going on here. And what else has happened here over the years from when it was the Times Star? Well, it's, there have been private businesses. There was a business, a market research firm uh, called Burke Marketing that was in this building for many years. The county bought it, I believe, in the late 80s and then converted it into courthouses and other governmental um, offices. And what can you tell us about some of the unique aspects of the building? You mentioned the Art Deco, but right. what other unique aspects are there here? Well, what's really interesting is when you come into the front of the building, the lobby, if you look up, there are all kinds of very beautiful reliefs, carvings, uh, metalwork from the newspaper building. The whole theme of the building revolves around publishing. Um, we are on the 14th floor. This is the judge's office. And um, in my courtroom, for example, we have wooden carvings in the ceiling and then the, in the walls um, depicting various uh, scenes in the printing business, uh, from printing presses to uh, the growing of fibers for newspaper print to many other aspects of the, of the printing business. Um, what's interesting is we have symbols on the wall at various locations in the building and various rooms that I've always looked at. I've never really quite known what they are, but I know we've had people do some research over the years to try to understand those those symbols as well. So it's a, a, a building heap, uh, steeped in history. Uh, Robert Taft was informally sworn into the United States Senate in this office um, back in the, I believe it was in the 50s. Uh, so it's a, it's a great historic building uh, from the Taft family, which obviously is a um, iconic family and political and, and publishing in the United States. And your family actually has a bit of a special tie we do. to here, don't you? Can you we tell do. us about that? Well, um, many years ago, the president of the, uh, the Time Star was a man by the name of Holbert Taft. Mm -hmm. And Holbert Taft um, occupied this office. It's the president's office. And my courtroom is the old boardroom that Mr. Taft would conduct board meetings in. And um, my family um, lived up in Clifton as well. And my great-grandfather was a man by the name of John Meyer. And um, my great-grandfather was actually the groundskeeper for the Tafts, took care of the animals, the gardens, the lawn, and so forth. Actually drove Mr. Taft down to work every so often as well. And um, so um, he moved with the Tafts when they were on Lafayette Avenue in Clifton, then he moved out with them to Indian Hill when they eventually moved to Indian Hill. Um, but obviously, you know, in America, when the great-grandson or the groundskeeper can sit in the same office that the, the president of the Enquirer or the, the president of the Time Star did back in those days. It's not lost on me. So um, it means a lot to our family and it means a lot to me personally and uh, I'm really proud of being here. Now there are a couple of other things to be proud about when it comes to this building too. I heard that there was maybe a movie or two Absolutely. filmed right here. Can Correct. you tell us about it? Yes, we've actually had um, recently two movies filmed. Mm -hmm. um, we had the movie Carol Mm -hmm. filmed in this office and um, I was uh, in very close proximity to Kate Blanchett and so that was kind of exciting um, and more recently uh, the movie about Suge Knight was filmed in my courtroom um, and obviously Cincinnati has a very vibrant movie culture here um, and they have I believe they say it's inventory they have great locations around town where they invite various movies producers to to look at what we have and to sort of show the city off. And with the great history, with the Art Deco you know, history that we have that's fairly unique, I think it's very attractive to movie uh, producers. And I know that this was the Board of Elections. 
Correct. Was this the Board of Elections? This was not the Board of Elections. Mm -hmm. The Board of Elections is across or right next to us, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Board of Elections exists now where a, a paper company used to be. Mm -hmm. And a paper company was located next door to mm -hmm. be in close proximity to the, the Time Star. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there is a tremendous need for paper resources. Mm -hmm. uh, there are train rails into the back of the building next to store to us. Mm -hmm. And those train rails actually come into the back of our building as well because I think they obviously went through a lot of paper in those days and so it was actually coming into this building by rail. And then you were explaining to us that so many floors downstairs, that's where they did all of their printing, that's correct? That's correct. Okay. We are in the tower mm -hmm. now. Um, when you get down to about the fourth, fifth floor, the back of the building comes out. It's, 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 almost, like a, um, it's almost like a big shoebox sticking out of the back and it's a huge atrium. And that's where they had really heavy presses and the actual printing of the paper occurred and all the typesetting and all the, the, the sort of the guts of printing a newspaper at the, in that day and age uh, occurred. And so this was actually, a, in some ways, a manufacturing building as well. Now, is there anything else that you like to share with us about the building or about the paper? Um, you know, the, there's a beautiful elevator that we use that's on the rightmost side of the of the um, of the building and um, there's always a legend that Mrs. Taft still walks the building here and there's a back door to the actual elevator so um, you know we hear there's some creaking noises and sometimes people say they hear noises and so forth so um, you know the legend is that uh, Mrs. Taft still may be walking around this building but I'm not sure I've seen her but you know I might, maybe I've heard her. So She may be here, you <laughs> just right. never know right? That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much for talking with it's us my today. Pleasure. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for coming down to see us. Thanks again so much for tuning in to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we spent time in downtown Cincinnati at the 800 Broadway Building, formerly known as the Times Star Building. We certainly hope that you enjoyed learning all about it. Remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and, and stop, stop often. often. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.